4.2b, probability and plotting points, compound events. The probability of this or that. When something asks us the probability of one thing or something else occurring, we add the individual probabilities, which means we find each probability and then add them together. The probability of this and that means that we must multiply the individual probabilities. It is very key to determine whether your question is asking or or and. In example one, we have a bag that contains three blue marbles, two red marbles, and a green marble. If you were to draw one marble at random, what is the probability of drawing? And then it lists options. Remember the first step is always to determine the total possibilities. The total possibilities are the three blue marbles plus the two red marbles plus one green marble. Therefore, our total is six. It now asked us the probability of drawing a blue or a green. Remember that if we see the word or, we are doing an addition problem. We first find the probability of drawing a blue marble, which remember is the number of possibilities, or three, over the total number of possibilities, or six. We then are going to add to that the probability of the green marble. When we look, the green marble, there is one possibility out of the total of six. We now must add the two probabilities together to get four sixths. Remember, once you have reached your answer, you must always reduce. Therefore, we get a probability of two thirds, which means there is a two out of three probability that we will draw a blue or a green marble. In the next portion, it once again asks us an or question. Remember, an or will mean that we will be doing addition. We must first find the probability of drawing a green marble. We look to the problem and we find that there is one green marble out of the six marbles in the bag. We then must add this to the probability of drawing a red marble. We check to see that there are two red marbles which means we have a two out of six probability of drawing a red marble. We now must add these probabilities together to get three sixths. Remember, you must reduce, which gives you one half. Therefore, we have a probability of one half of drawing a green or a red marble. Finally, it asks us, what is the probability of drawing a blue or a red or a green, which means we need to find three individual probabilities and add them together. We first find the probability of drawing a blue. We find that the probability of drawing a blue is three out of six. Next, we find the probability of drawing a red, which there are two red marbles, therefore it is two out of six. Finally, we find the probability of drawing a green marble, which is one out of six. When we add these fractions together, we find that it is a six out of six probability, which reduces to one. A probability of one is the probability that it will occur. Remembering that a probability of zero means that it is not possible for it to occur. In example two, it asks, if you roll a standard six-sided die and then draw a marble out of a bag with seven red and three black marbles, what is the probability you get a three and a black, an even and a red? We will start with the first problem. We need to identify that it is an and statement. Remember, ands are multiplication. Also remember, you must find the individual probabilities of each before you find the total probability. Therefore, we look and we see that if it is a standard six-sided die, that means that our total for the first one is six. 
Secondly, we see that there is a bag of marbles with seven red, three black, so that means that there's a total of 10. We now need to find the probability of each of these occurring. In the first example, it wants to know the probability of getting a three on a standard six-sided die, which means there's only one three on the die, and there were six possibilities. Since this is an and statement, we know we need to multiply. Secondly, we want to know the probability of drawing a black marble. There are three black marbles out of a total of 10 black marbles, which means we have a three out of 10. Remember that when multiplying fractions, you may reduce before you multiply across. Remember, reducing is only possible either vertically or diagonally. We cannot reduce either fraction vertically, therefore we look diagonally. We see that the three and the six will reduce, 3 goes into 3 one time, and 3 goes into 6 two times. We now may multiply across, and the tops become 1, and the bottom is 2 times 10, which is 20. The fraction is now reduced, and we have found the probability of 1 20 for drawing a 3 and then a black. If we instead look for an even and a red, we need to find each of the probabilities, and since it is an and statement, we must multiply. The probability of finding an even, remember this is a six-sided die, with the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six, which means there are three even numbers out of the six sides. We then multiply this by a red. The red, happens to be seven out of a total of 10. Once again, it is easier to reduce before moving on. We can reduce vertically. Vertically, three goes into three one time and three goes into six twice. There's no other further reducing that we can complete, therefore we multiply across. And we get seven twentieths. Remember that when finding compound events, we must determine if it is an OR statement or an AND statement. OR statements we add, AND statements you multiply. Remember you must first find the individual probability of each event before finding the compound probability.